Hello, my name is Adrian Lopez and this is my review of the Biofax Pocket Notebook. Alright, so here's a quick rundown of my notebook. Uh, or the notebook, I suppose. First, it has a nice elastic uh, band that really, uh, I mean, it's very secure. It doesn't, I've never had it, you know, any problems with it. Um, it does not come with this. This is actually a Leuchtsturm 1917 uh, pen holder. And what I had to do is I had to take my Nemesis Infision, which uh, is really thin on one end, and then put it in and then widen it like that in order to fit the uh, Lamy Safari, because otherwise it's way, way too small. And um, I guess I'll do a mini review of the pen holder. My problem with the pen holder is that it's the red, you can see the black elastic underneath it as it's being stretched out. That's my only problem, but besides that, I mean, it's done a good job. This adhesive is very strong, it hasn't done anything to come off or what have you. Um, so, in this notebook, I take down random notes. Like, for example, uh, we studied satire in English today, so I had I was recommended to read this. The next few pages are all going to be blank. Occasionally this happens, it has trouble, trouble turning, but um, I don't know, I think that's just the design of the notebook. Um, blue is just my notes, my general notes. Uh, so these are books by Nietzsche that I should read. Um, red is my diary sort of thing. And yellow is notes. And purple is my AP seminar. Uh, section. Let's see. I think the uh, tabs are extremely useful, so it's very good at you know separating your ideas and dividing things. The ruler, I've had not much use of, honestly. Um, I mean, I like the idea of using it as a bookmark, but I've never put that into practice. And the way that it works, I mean, I'm able to just take out the pages really quick and just put them in. I don't need a bookmark for anything. I don't need to save my spot because I can immediately just take it, put it into one of my other thoughts. So I'll do that right now, actually. Uh, as for the paper quality, well, the Lummi Safari writes just fine on it. but it is an extra fine and I got that specifically with the purpose of it writing nicely on the paper even if it was you know of cheaper quality but I had heard good things so I just decided to kind of trust it So if you look at that versus like on the Clairefontaine, there wouldn't be a lot of difference. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera. So you can see there's not a lot of difference in between these two samples. Next, I'll do it with my Platinum 3776, just to get a uh, thicker line, a little bit of a thicker line. So yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit more spreading out on the um, Filofax, but nothing extreme and nothing I would really complain about. In general, things just look thicker though, you kind of 
tell a little bit. I don't know how well you can tell on the video. Um, well, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I really like the portability of this product. I really like how easy it is. I mean, I've never used it literally as a pocket notebook, but um, I mean, I'm sure that's an option if you really felt like it. And it's just, it's really useful as a, uh, you know, sort of a brain dump notebook. So you can just put all down all your thoughts and then just separate them as you go later. Uh, really useful for that. And, uh, well, thank you for watching. That's, that's about it.